What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Coding with Robbie. In this video we're going to be setting up VS Code for Unity development. So by the end of this video you'll have Unity set up with syntax highlighting. You're going to have auto completion and snippets. You're going to have auto formatting so when you save it'll just format it however you want. Uh, the debugger is going to work. So you can debug your code and add breakpoints and have a debug console and everything. And uh, it's pretty easy to do. So if that sounds good, stick around. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let's get right into it. So I got Visual Studio Code right here, and I got no extensions or anything yet. And then I got Unity right here. This is a brand new install, no changes or anything yet also. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go to Edit, Preferences. You'll want to find External Tools. And then just change your script editor to be VS Code. Once you do that, you'll want to hit Regenerate Project Files. And then you can close this window. And then you're going to want to save and save project for good measure. Once that's done, it's going to make it so when you do open a C-sharp script, it's going to open in Visual Studio Code. And you'll get some highlighting, but if you play around with it, you can tell it's not that great. So we're going to fix that. So when you do open your project, it's going to suggest some extensions to install. So we'll hit install on the suggestions. And it's going to grab a bunch of C Sharp plugins and the Unity plugin. So we're just going to let that run for a minute. You can see it's installing all this stuff. Let me close some of these. So we got the Unity plugin. We got IntelliCode for C Sharp Dev Kit. We got C Sharp Dev Kit. We got C Sharp and we got the .NET install tool and it's downloading .NET 7 and you're actually going to get an error here. It says .NET Core SDK cannot be located. So to fix that, we have to download it. So just click get the SDK and it's going to pull up this website. Just hit download and it'll download it and then we'll install it right after. So it should be done in just a second. There we go. Let's go ahead and open that. It's just going to take a minute to open. Let's go back to VS Code. It looks like it got uh, .NET version 7 okay. But we still have that no SDK found on the computer, so we're going to fix that right now. So it'll pull up this guy right here. Let's just go install. Uh, it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'll hit yes. And it's going to go ahead and install it. While that's going, there's one other thing we can do. So let's go back to Unity. And you're going to have to go to Window, Package Manager. You'll change this to Unity Registry. And then just search Visual Studio. And you're going to want to get this Visual Studio Code Editor package right here. So let's go Install. Just going to take a second to install and update everything. There we go. Let's close that. Let's check our installer. It says, hey, it's installed. We can close this now. And now we can try it, but we're likely going to have to restart our computer. So let's close VS Code. And let's open it up again and see if we get that error. And we still do. So I'm going to restart my computer and then I'll be right back. All right, so I just restarted my computer and pulled up the Unity project again. So now I'm going to open it in VS Code and see if that error is gone. So let's do that. I'll pull it up. And just wait a second. So I'm not seeing an error, so it looks like it's working. It's opening the project. It says it's ready. So everything's looking good. So now it should look a little different in here. You can see it's showing the references now. And uh, if we start doing some Unity stuff, so maybe serialize field. If I can type serialize field. Uh, private int my number is equal to 12. And then let's use that. Let's go my number is equal to 13. You'll see the reference is open is updating. You can click it and see where it's being referenced. Um, you can rename stuff. It's all working pretty good. One thing you're probably going to want is snippets. So say you start typing on trigger enter 2D. Uh, it's not going to pull up the whole snippet. To fix that, you'll need another extension. So just go to Extensions and search for Unity. And the one you're going to want is this Unity Code Snippets right here. It's got over a million downloads, so let's grab that. And now if we go back here 
and I start typing on trigger enter 2D. It's the ones that show the mono behavior stuff down here. And if you click those, it'll come up with a full snippet for you. Very helpful. So at this point, we got it running pretty good and we can actually use the debugger now. So you can go over to the debug tab right here in the corner, you'll see it says attach to Unity. You can hit play. And the first time you run this, you'll have to go back to Unity and you'll see a little pop-up where you'll just click allow on this project or allow on all projects. And uh, once you do that, the debugger should be running, which it is. So let's try this out. Let's just add a, a log right here. And we'll just say, yo. And then let's add a breakpoint. And you can see it's enabled down here. And now let's attach this script to something so it does run. So I'll just go back to Unity. It's gonna update for a second. And then I'll just attach it to my camera. So let's add the testing script. And now if I hit play, we should hit that breakpoint. So I'll hit play. And it's gonna to try to enter play mode. We're gonna hit the breakpoint right there. And now we can use the debug console. So if I went here, you know, I could type my number and see what it is at that point in the code. And it's working pretty good. And then one last thing I want to show is formatting. So by default, it's gonna format your code like this. So say I right clicked and I went to format document. Um, I like the braces on the same line. So if you did wanna change that, uh, it's gonna support editor config, which is kind of a global standard where you define rules on how you want the format. So let's create an editor config file. So it's dot editor config. And you can look up all the rules and stuff, but I'm just gonna paste this in and this will keep the braces on the same line. So now if I go format, uh, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> Let's try to uh, re reopen the project and see if it refreshes. All right, reopened it. Let's go ahead and wait for it to get set up. Right click, format, and now it's on the same line. And uh, there's a bunch of stuff you can do with this. You'll have to look it up. And one other setting I like is I like it. So every time I save, it'll format. So I don't have to right click. If you want to do that, you just go preferences, settings, uh, just search for format. And you can enable format on paste and format on save. If you do that, now every time I save, it's just gonna auto format it how I like it. And uh, yeah, it's setting up uh, VS Code for Unity. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.